What's going on, all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, the home of collected editions. And today I have two brand new, very interesting Marvel Omnis to share with you all, coming out in August of 2023. So let's get this party started. This video is sponsored by Marvel Comics, so thank you so much to David Gabriel and the fine folks at Marvel for sending us advanced notification of both of these books. So before going any further, if you're enjoying these videos, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and ring that bell for notifications. That lets you know when our videos are going live, and all that does help our channel keep growing. And make sure you stay away from the comments section in case you want to be surprised. By all means, afterwards, let us know what you think of the content, the covers. And thank you to those folks that have shared my videos. That's you all are so wonderful. All right. So let's talk about these. I said very interesting. And I know that's very cryptic because I could be talking about a thousand different things. But yeah, sometimes I really do feel like, oh, that's an interesting collection. OK. And I always feel like there's something uh, for everybody. But these are different types of books, too. So let's talk about the first one. Uh, the first book is Marvel Age Omnibus. And before we look at the content and talk about what exactly it is, let's take a look at the standard edition cover. So the standard edition cover is supplied by Carrie Gamble. This here showcasing so many of Marvel characters during this particular year, that being 1985, including the Beyonder and his awesome outfit. But yeah, these were like the hottest characters in 1985 including four bush lad up there all right so let's take a look at the content and then we'll talk about what exactly this is so this will collect marvel age 1 through 34 and marvel age annual number one now before you ask the question well what about this can that be included in there and what about this uh, cover i've been told everything is going to be collected in this book so let's take a look at the direct market cover this direct market cover is supplied by Richard Howe. And again, you have Ford Bushman up there reading the book that he is on the cover of. But anyway, this features the characters of Scarlet Witch and Vision, along with the Avengers West Coast. So what exactly is Marvel Age? Well, it was an imprint that lasted from 1984 all the way up into the 90s. It went about 140 issues or so. And it's basically what the bullpen bulletins were in comic book format so here's where you got your creator interviews your behind the scenes uh your upcoming attractions your articles and ads and there were letters here that were sent and then of course a lot of the stuff that was happening uh behind the scenes i, I was a big fan of reading these because this reminds me of an era before the internet this reminds me of where i would go this in the comics buyer's guide and it, of course, later on, years later, Wizard Magazine. But I mean, this is like an inside look at the Marvel creators, what they're going to be working on, what the original stories were supposed to be during some of these interviews. Oh, my gosh, I'll never forget that Marvel age with the new Warriors on. I could not wait. But yes, this is where Four Bush Man first appeared. And this is uh, I think he went on over to Nod Brand X. But all 34 of the first few issues are going to be collected in here. This also actually, I think, has the first published work of Kurt Busiek, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and um, Peter David as well. So, like I said, a very interesting collection with apparently everything, including all the covers and the inside stuff. So, can't wait to see what the, uh, what is collected in here and brings back a lot of memories. All right. The next very interesting collection, also coming out in August of next year. And I hope this is the beginning to something beautiful. Sigil, cross-gen omnibus. Those words just put a smile on my face, man. All right, let's take a look at the standard edition cover. I don't know why I keep pointing over there because it always appears here. I think it moves over there when I do the content. So anyway, let's take a look at the standard edition cover. This cover is supplied by Claudio Castellini, and this is the one that's going to be available everywhere. So before we talk about what exactly this is or why i'm excited about cross gen and why so many of you are excited about cross gen and omnis uh let's take a look at the content so this collects all of sigil so it, it's 
issues 1 through 42, Cross Gen Chronicles number 4, Saurians, The Unnatural Selection, 2 issue mini, material from Cross Genesis number 1, Cross Genesis Chronicles number 1, and that is a big book. And I honestly, I had forgotten it went on for so long because it, it, it Cross Gen was just one of those things that, you know, lasted for such a short time but left such a big impact in a lot of our lives especially to me because i was coming back to comics when everyone was talking about cross gen um so before i talk about sigil let's take a look at the direct market cover this is your direct market cover here supplied by ben lai and he was the artist on the book when i started reading it and i think that that is the cover to issue number one so sigil was a series published by cross gen and i'll talk a little more about that stuff here in a second but it was an original idea that was created by mark alessi and gina villa and you have the writings in here of barbara kessel she's the one that kicks it off with again the art by ben uh, lai and his brother i think is the inker ray, ray lai uh, you also have the writings in here of mark wade and chuck dixon so eventually taking over the book and this was part of the big run of cross gen i think there were four titles there was uh, Sigil, there was Scion, which was my personal favorite. Uh, there was also Meridian and Mystic. I think those were the big four when they started off. Uh, so these were published by CrossGen, and eventually when CrossGen, well, ended, uh, so did a lot of their comics. But now Marvel owns the rights. And there was a collection announced a couple weeks ago that I've known about. I couldn't say anything. So this gives me hope that we will get a collection of mystic and scion oh scion would be so awesome sojourn oh man way of the way of the rat and the path a meridian oh one day maybe maybe i'm getting too ahead of myself uh but this is a sci-fi story that has its own little universe so none of those stories really crossed over with this one they were own in they were all in their own little pocket universe and it's all about this planetary union. So it's a big sci-fi story, really. And that artwork, man, I know it's, it's, to me, it was peak 90s, early odds, but I loved it. So those are the two announcements. Don't forget to pre-order when they come available for pre-order. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about these books, what you think about the covers. And if you want to see any more cross-gen omnis. This was the Uncanny Omar. Thank you all so much for watching. Smash that like button on the way out. Everyone stay healthy and safe out there. Make sure you come back to the channel, especially when I'm wearing the suit. No, I don't have to wear the suit. Just come back to the channel anyway, every day. All day, every day. Bye, everyone.